What's up? What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? You already know what to do. I'm doing good. Uh, I'm a little out of breath. We made it up here in New York. Check this out. Are you coming out? Are you coming out this way? I'm going, I'm going to take it this. I'm going to park it and drive my truck in front of yours. 
Okay, let me move out your way. No, you're good. Okay. Find her down right there, and then when you're ready, you go. I will do. Thank you. I got no paperwork. That's fine. Okay. Thanks, brother. I no problem. Thank you. So yeah, um, I was in some hot shit earlier. What I mean by that is that uh, I had a DOT inspection and I already told this guy, which the wheel loader, that I was going to make it at like 1030. But that didn't happen. I showed up at like, what, 1130? And the DOT officer was just taking his sweet old time. You know how police officers are when they pull you over. Well, for trucks, it's a little bit longer. Bear with me, I'm trying to take off my gloves, get less situated. But yeah, it took it, took, it takes a little bit longer when they do DOT inspections. I even told the guy too, I said, hey, you're gonna make me late for, for my pickup and I thought he was beeping at me. You're gonna make me late for my pickup. And he's like, all right, well, I mean, I'll drive you down there. Not really, he didn't He didn't actually drive me down. But what had happened was he almost put me out of service. Thank God, you know, I, I used to work on cars and I, you know, I still do, I love, I love, if anybody know me or whatnot, I love cars. I love imports. I love, love anything that has a petrol motor and it's boosted and it's non aspirated. Um, I had a few cars back in the day, I had a 240, I had a Honda Civic. Um, I like the, what I would like is a BMW E46 wagon. That's a five speed or an E46. Simple, just something simple, man. Nothing, nothing electric. We all know where the electric thing is heading. It's turning into a shit show with that. Um, but uh, let me get back on top of it. But yeah, um, I use my uh, every time something bad goes wrong when it comes to trucks, I use my car analogy. I try to like combine the two, but even though, you know, it's a semi truck, it's diesel, but I still put my car knowledge to use, try to figure out what's going on, try to diagnose the problem, even though I don't have a computer scanner or a computer to hook up to the ECU or what's that green plug, the OBD2 plug, and scan it, scan and diagnose the problems through that way. I can't do that. But anyways, um, yeah, the main issue was he was going to put me out of service was because uh, I didn't have any running lights. I didn't have, like, as in, like, you know, I didn't, my brake lights weren't come on for my trailer. So I looked in a fuse, well, looked in uh, the, on a firewall fuse cabin, fuse box, and um, I pulled out the bad fuse that was causing the issue but right now this isn't my truck it's just a temper right now 
This isn't my truck. It's just a temporary truck. My truck just got rebuilt because I had a, a hairline crack on a crankshaft. So, yeah. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get everything all situated. I'll see you guys at the receivers. Take care. Peace. Be safe on that highway, man. Because I'm getting hit in New York with a snowstorm. Which, I wasn't going to move anyways. But... Hey, someone's got to make that money. What's that saying go? If the wheels ain't turning, boy, you are not earning. All right, now, y'all take care of y'all beasts. Y'all be safe. Make sure y'all take a like, like, subscribe. If you feel free, ask some questions. Comment down below. Take care, y'all. Peace.